Hi guys, I'm Chris from Pine Top Jackson, coming to you from the beautiful Pacific Northwest United States. I got a letter in the mail today from Canada. I got some handmade guitar picks I'd like to share with you the first time I try them out. Come along. So the maker of these fine handcrafted guitar plectrums is a guy named James. James is this Cliff Burton looking dude from Canada. I know him from his YouTube channel, J Metal R. I've been following his YouTube channel for a little while and he's decided to start getting into uh, digging deep into the plectroverse by making his own guitar picks. And I'm happy to have from his very first batch. This is his first clear one. Uh, let me read a little bit of the letter that came with these. The day has come you are receiving my handmade plectrums. This is day even six months ago I wouldn't have expected, but here we are. I've included two plectrums. The first is a clear acrylic razor blade suitcase plectrum. 2.4 millimeters thick and quite clearly, no pun intended. Uh, no pun intended, it says, James. I think there very clearly was a pun intended. It's hard to see once it's out of your hand, so I advise caution on where you keep it when not playing. This is one of the main changes I hope to make on this plectrum in the future. In the future I hope to be using colored acrylic as well as hopefully some kind of engraving on them. Currently, just the prototype stages, but an important thing right now is how the plectrum plays. So I hope you will see it's a balance between aggression and control. I have based the shape off the classic home plate, or as it's sometimes known, the Blackmore. Still need a bit more work on polishing. They can be easily scratched, but I hope you'll be able to see the potential in the design and playability. All right, let's play around with this a bit. Here's the second pick that James sent me and says the next plectrum I've included is a three millimeter thick and made from carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. I've based off the Jazz 3XL. Other than improvements perhaps to the beveling that comes with time and practice, I'm very proud of these picks. The carbon fiber will of course shed some black dust on your fingers and guitar, although I've sanded it up to 3000 grit to reduce this. Future versions I plan to sand even higher than that. All right, let's check out this one. Uh, let's see the clear one he called the razor blade suitcase. He didn't name this one, it looks like. We'll try out the carbon fiber pick.
All right, so with these two handcrafted guitar plectrums, uh, I thought that I would be more into this one, the razor blade suitcase. At first, it's a little bit thinner, 2.4 millimeters thick it was, whereas this one is three millimeters thick. And part of the thing about the Plectroverse that kind of intimidated me was I see like these great big fat guitar picks. Of course, they're, uh, you know, they're beveled down to skinnier plain surfaces, plain edges, but uh, but still just that thickness that I'm not used to from, you know, my, my Dunlop Reds. But, um, but actually when I was playing them, I felt more uh, comfortable with this one, maybe the shape. Um, yeah, and this one uh, seemed a little little uh, slicker, like it wanted to slip out of my hands, but also it felt kind of awkward uh, having the pointy edges on uh, on my fingers. Uh, this one felt completely more comfortable and felt more, I, I felt more comfortable, you know, like speeding up and thrashing out with this one than I did with this one. So this was, uh, you see, this was basically my introduction to the Plutroverse. Thanks a lot, James, for sending these picks to me. Look forward to seeing what you create. I'll uh, put a link in the description down below, so you should definitely check out uh, J Metal R's uh, YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.